Video 5, Installing and Testing Your Photocell, and Using a Photocell and Timer Together. In this fifth segment, we detail our TLS-100 UNV Landscape Lighting Transformer. We address the installation and operation of the optional photocell. Although you can use the photocell as the only control point with our transformer, at the end of the video, we'll show you how to use the timer and photocell together to add more control over your system. Photocell installation. Remove the knockout. Use something to gently push against the knockout like something made of stiff plastic. Press on each side of the knockout and rock it back and forth until it falls out. Sometimes you can do this with just your finger. Remove the nut holding the photocell fittings together, and you will see a notch where you can remove it from the wire. Put the wire through the hole. Put the nut on the other side. Tighten. And after removing the jumper, plug the unit right in. Make sure the sliding metal cover is covering the sensor inside the unit. You can see the sensor through the plastic cover. This helps the photo cell think it's dark and completes the circuit. In some cases, it's not enough and you may have to use something in addition to make it think it's dark outside. I used an old black sock that was in my rag bin to make sure no light was getting to the sensor. You can deploy this in the field, remove the sock, slide the metal cover down to allow the light to hit the sensor inside the plastic cover. Photocell testing. The first thing to know, a photocell is just a switch controlled by light and very slow to react. It can take as long as five minutes to turn on or off. Once the photocell is installed, with the photocell completely covered, the plug installed in the socket and power to the transformer, both indicator lights should come on. And if not, and there is a load attached, remove the load wires, check the breaker, and try again. See more on testing the unit in our special video transformer testing section. Simple electrical diagram. I'm going to walk you through two separate diagrams. The first one is the use of the photocell only. Let's look at that flowchart. Using just the photocell turns the lights on at dark and off at sunrise. Simple. Here's how the power flows to your landscape lights. The power starts at your house. Hopefully there's a GFI to plug into. If not, you may want to get one installed. The power enters the unit at the socket. As soon as it is plugged in, in the first indicator light comes on. This way you know you have power to the unit. When you plug the internal plug into the socket, it sends the power to the photocell. The photocell senses, if it's dark enough outside, to then send the power to the internal transformer, and it converts it to both 12 and 15 volts. When this happens, the second indicator light comes on. The new 12 and 15 volt power then goes to the terminal block where you attach your load wires going out to your landscape lighting fixtures. See our separate video on how and when to use the 15 volts. When the sun comes up, the photocell will sense the light and turn off the transformer. The second indicator lighter will go off as well as your landscape lighting fixtures. The transformer will no longer be producing power. Let's look at the timer and photocell used together to add more control over your system. Here is the flowchart for that application. The lights can be scheduled to come on when it gets dark, but will turn off at the time you have set on the timer. Here's how power flows to your landscape lights when using a timer and photocell together. Again, power starts at your house. Hopefully there is a GFI to plug it into. If not, you may want to get one installed. As soon as it is plugged in, the power enters the unit at the socket. The first indicator light comes on. This way you know you have power at the unit. The socket 
sends the power to the installed timer. The timer is set by you with an on time of say five o'clock and an off time of say 3 a.m. You will use only one pin on and one pin for off. The other two pins you can remove and save in case you lose one. The timer then sends power to the photo cell at 5 p.m. But the photo cell will wait until it's dark outside. This setup allows for you to set an early time to adjust for the time changes throughout the year and making sure the lights don't actually go on until it's dark. It's a great way to save energy. Once it gets dark, the photo cell then sends power to the transformer. At this point, the indicator light will come on showing that the transformer is now producing 12 and 15 volts. And the power is now available at the terminal block where you attach the wires going out to your lights. And because you set the timer to turn off at 3 a.m., the timer will switch the transformer off as well as a second indicator light and all your landscape lighting fixtures. As long as the unit remains plugged in, the timer will continue this process day after day, turning the lights on when it's dark and shutting them off at 3 a.m. The second indicator light is only on when the unit is producing voltage for your landscape lighting fixtures. In the next video segment, we'll talk about the use of a smart device so you can control the TLS 100 UNV landscape lighting transformer with your home automation system. If you'd like to find the specs and all the other videos on how to test, install, all the options and everything you need to know about our transformer, as well as how to put your entire system together, please just follow this link. Together, we can make your property magical. We're a small family business and hope that no matter where you shop, you consider buying from a small business. We are Total Lighting Supply and we know lighting. We've been doing it for 30 years plus. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions on our products, please feel free to ask us. Use this email address for quick communication. Support at TotalLightingSupply.com we answer product questions all day long, Monday through Friday. However, if you ask questions on YouTube, it may be some time before we see it. Our videos are designed as an overview of our products, and we recommend hiring a qualified electrician for your project to ensure a safe installation. And as always, see the description for links to our website. See the product description on our website for important details, as well as updates and specifications. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new product information. We offer information such as this video and a level of service you will not find anywhere else. Consider using us for your project needs. All of us at Total Lighting Supply hope to hear from you soon.